Hey guys, it's Ashley with 3R Sales and Service. Today we're taking a look at a single axle enclosed trailer. This is a 12 foot trailer that was provided by our customer. Uh, he went ahead and brought it up to us. We did the install and then he'll be here to pick it up tomorrow. Um, so this is equipped with an eight gallon pressure washer system and an 11 gallon gas engine soft wash system. As you move in a little bit closer, we'll take a look at the hose reels that we have up front. We've got the 18 inch electric Titan hose reels. Um, and when we say electric, that means they are electric rewind and they're 12 volt powered. Um, up top, we've got 300 feet of the half inch soft wash hose. We've got 200 feet of the 3 8 pressure washer hose, and then we have 100 feet of the 3 quarter inch garden hose. Now we can fit 200 feet on this line if we, uh, if we needed to. Um, the other thing, here I'm gonna switch sides here, we have the tank drain. Since the water tank is on the opposite side of the trailer, we usually like to have it so that it's accessible from the passenger side. So what we did was we have a hose that'll just, you can just use this valve here to empty uh, the tank or if you needed to wash your hands or something while you're on site, you can do that as well. So we'll go ahead and move around back where you can see the rest of the components. So before and put their own flooring in as well. Uh, but we'll talk about the components that are on the driver's side first. We've got the eight gallon a minute pressure washer. This has the Honda GX690 engine uh, with the general T-series pump. We have a 12 gallon fuel tank here and a 100 gallon water tank that this is feeding off of. Uh, this line here is our cool bypass for the pressure washer. So that means that you can run this pressure washer pretty much infinitely in cool bypass mode so that when you let, her, when you let off that trigger, it's cycling all that water back uh, to your tank and keeping the pump nice and cool. Moving in a little bit further, we put a pre-filter on this tank just to keep any junk from your water supply getting into your tank. And then we have a second filter before it even goes to the pressure washer in case there's any buildup inside the tank. Uh, and then we've got a, uh, a toolbox here just to keep all the extra components. On the other side, you can see we've got uh, a 20 inch surface, I'm sorry, a 21 inch surface cleaner. This one's built by Mossmatic. And then we use um, all kinds of hooks and whatnot to keep that in place. And uh, another thing I kind of want to point out too is we really do our best to keep all the components, especially the plumbing, to the outside of the trailer or you know you don't you see this aisle here is nice and clear we want to keep this a nice safe space uh, so nobody's tripping over uh, any of the hoses or plumbing um, but it also so that whenever your surface cleaner is hooked up over here it's not bumping into your plumbing on the uh, on the side and it's not going to hit any of your valving so just a few extra things we do to make sure that everything's nice and protected and it's going to last as long as it can on the passenger side We'll talk about the tanks and then we'll move our way down to the soft wash system. So this smaller tank, it's a seven gallon surfactant tank, pull it through your soft wash system. And then we have a 35 gallon soap tank and this one is pulling through your soap injector that's on your pressure washer reel. And then our 55 gallon bleach tank. Um, on the bleach tanks, we have a vent on these that go down through the floor because with bleach it will expand um, so that just kind of relieves that pressure and and those fumes and makes its way outside the trailer so it won't corrode your components inside the trailer we have the honda engine on our p40 pump for the soft wash system this is right around uh, 290 psi about 11 gallon per minute that can fluctuate a little bit uh, they usually operate at a little bit lower pressure than that uh, but it's definitely a high volume pump we have the uh, proportioner system here that this is hooked up to. So we have our water valve, our surfactant valve, and our bleach valve. These will meter um, all of those components so that you can get the ratio that you want whenever it hits the surface. And then we have that in conjunction with the remote system. So all you do is just hit these on off buttons on this little remote here, and that will either spray soap when it's on and then uh, spray water whenever it's off so that you can rinse your system out completely. So very user friendly, very nice, um, just a good way to be able to, uh, to get your job done quickly without having to walk back and forth to your rig so often. So if you guys have any questions on this setup, please give us a call. Thanks.